Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about device complaints related to Mac operating systems. Let's begin the policies a creation from the Microsoft Intune device complaints policies and this blade. When you click on the policies, you can start creating a new policy from this blade. Create policy and you can choose your platform as a Mac OS and give a meaningful name of the, this policy and followed by description and you have the three different categories here out of that the first category would be the device health this device health has the policy setting for request system integrity protection so the system integrity protection to be enabled on those devices if you want you can take this as required and you also have the device properties like minimum maximum version as well as the build version if you want to configure for the Mac OS followed by followed by system security. Under system security, you also have password related and encryption related as well as the device security. Now let's begin with the password. The password is a very similar to other policies. We do have here the simple password or minimum password length. Let's take an example to configure as a password to unlock the devices by required. And also you can say that, hey, I'm not gonna allow the users to use a simple password. I'm blocking and the minimum password length should be approximately eight characters what I'm gonna give now out of this eight how many number uh, should be the alphanumerical and how many should not be alphanumerical that also you can configure and the password type should be the device type or maybe alphanumerical so in this case I can configure as alphanumerical and uh, non alphanumerical characters in the password must be at least three characters and followed by maximum minutes of inactivity before the device required I mean the password is required you can configure as five minutes with the five minutes of uh, no activity within that device ideal state then it can uh, ask you to prompt uh, to enter the password one more time and related to the password expiry here you can say that hey the password must be uh, changed so these are the days say let's say maybe every 30 days they must have to change the password something like that if you want to uh, choose a number x number that number can be inputted here similar to the uh, number of uh, Previous passwords should not be reused. You can uh, prevent by using, maybe you can say that, hey, shouldn't be repeated the same password again and again, because that leads to the insecurity sometime if it gets compromised. So at least the five, you can give as a best, best security recommendation. You can put it as a five as a values. And then followed by the encryption, encryption related. So you can configure that encryption of the data on that devices must be required and firewall should be enabled you can see that incoming connections not configured uh, stealth mode is not configured if you want to configure you can configure those and also the gatekeeper which allows the downloaded uh, from a different locations so altogether those applications you can see that hey I'm um, uh, allowing the applications to download from App Store only or if you want to download from anywhere you can configure that settings so this is one other uh, useful configuration which you can do it at the gatekeeper level after clicking on that OK you can click on that categories and now in the create policy category you can now configure for actions for non-compliant policies so you can see that these are the settings which are going to enforced and if found that any of these settings are not found you are making immediately which is the scheduled time here as a device is non-compliant now i'm going to also add one more policy to send an email if i want i can send an email to the end user with the email notifications which we have configured under the notifications you can choose as them and say click okay that would automatically uh, adds the required uh, email uh, email addresses so that you will be getting an email notification and now let's configure uh, as the additional recipient if you are interested you can add additional users also in this case so I think I can add what are the resources I have here click OK and add so these are the same settings which are normally we do it for any of the configuration are related to the compliance policies so these compliance policies quite same thank you for watching this we'll catch you in the next lecture